<laughs> Back again with the good old evil empire. Hi there, everybody. Hope you had a good Wednesday or, or whatever day it is when you watch this uh, video on demand. And we're going to get started with the aftermath of this glorious battle against the Falls Empire. Let's see. How bad are we off? I've uh, kind of tried to forget <laughs> what has happened in the, in the meantime. Okay, we're out of steel. Partially. Quite crazy to be out of steel in such an environment, but oh, we can do. Okay. So we're either going to dig out more of that scrap, or we're going to haul it back into our into our base. I'd say. Do I not like here? Praise your light. Lead ore. Tin ore. Rock wall. Wait a sec, is that made out of rock powder? Yes, it is. Must replace and deconstruct that. Stone powder can be used for concrete mix. And concrete mix is something I need for my geothermal generators. Good stuff. Good stuff. Iron boy. So we're really starting to pick clean this area of scraps, but we still have some some of them coming back. We need more people. We're just seven. Seven raiders doing their thing. It's a little bit it's a little bit low. Area revealed. Oh yeah, that was an impressive area reveal. This game does not stop to deliver. Ha. Okay. Ah, oh, this room is looking really good. I do like the dark lights. Rest in peace, Comboa. You're crazy. He was Goju's binging when we had to take him down. Goju's... No, no, not Goju's. She was high, he was high on Goju's and then went on a berserk spree. Ah, Komboa. We miss you. We could freeze him, though, and resurrect him one day, but I don't feel like that. A group of travelers is passing by. Tuscarda Treaty. Who is the Tuscarda Treaty? The local nudist tribe. So... Whoa! Holy... I'll take that. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you guys will... Mystically disappear. <laughs> Arrested. Both of you. Just checking if I have somebody with a hundred... Yeah, there we go. Get over here, friends. Whoop. Oh, we need to uh, take down that other dude. Don't kill him! Oh. Oh. Too bad. Which one did we kill? Ah, the more versatile one. Seriously. <laughs> what a waste! <laughs> what a friggin' waste. What a waste of potential. Oh, wait a sec. The potatoes there uh, are really, really, really low. This is not good. We do store simple meals over there too, though. So yeah, we're gonna be cooking for the animals in the worst case scenario. Okay. Well, at least plus one. Tarja, would you kindly? Thank you. Oh man, what a waste. I would have loved to keep the other guy. Rar Bilzer. 
tribal hyper Mahayana. So, idealized pain. Okay, so, we're going to convert you. It's much cooler on our side, man. Believe me. Zap. Okay. A 15% conversion. <laughs> Didn't expect it to be that good. Alright, Tarja is finally done. And let's check what we're going to do with the animals. Oh, yeah. Five female adults. Let's say. Whew. It's hard to tell. I'll keep it like that for now. I don't mind them uh, in those numbers. It helps me to carry stuff. Peace talks. No. They left me a monosword at the last end of the last episode. That was pretty good too. Gourmet cocktail. Oh, Tarja, come on, clean out your mouth. Clean out your mouth. And we even lost the cooler. Okay. And what about all that hauling stuff? Terra. Terra is one hauling person. And Marcia. Oh yeah, no, no, not too surprised that we're not getting anything done here. Well, that dude will take a, take some time. Hey, Sylvie, hi there. Nice to see you. Alright. I think we should uh, clean out this uh, room. It's a little bit dirty. This whole base is too dirty. We need more people. Megatruffle. Forgot to change the Twitch catalog. Oh, thank you, my friend. Thank you. That's hereby changed. Yeah, every every couple of streams, I I I stop. Not I, I miss it. There we go. We got so much food in that freezer, it's amazing. I over I overdid the production, I'm afraid. So have we already researched biosculpting? No. I should do that. It's always a good way to get rid of a overproduction of food. And also guinea pig. Are these things real? Let's tame them. Guinea pig. Their fur is extremely valuable, and uh, we can take a lot of profit out of that. Also, I think the idea of some evil raiding clan breeding guinea pigs sounds outright hilarious to me. Mobile restaurant. Tarja went to break down. Come on, Tarja. Okay, so, Homestead Export Company, wonderful name. What can we do with these people? I mean, they would buy part of them. They would buy my overproduction there. So, well, it's a difficult one. I'm going to sell away the agavis. I need money after all. I need money after all. Chocolate is extra costly. <laughs> they even got fish. Whatever. Hi, Hyorin. Good to see you. Alright, so Alexios is making rock powder, and we have we create 50 per production cycle. Okay. Good stuff. So, make concrete with rock powder. Let's do this. Can we now friggin' do this?
Oh, we need to refuel it. Probably that's the issue. Plus an extra fuel usage. Okay, okay. Now that explains a lot. I might assume it needs coal. Oh, you got your section vac vaccine yesterday. Oh man. How are you feeling? I was completely destroyed. <laughs> Sapphire, the dough. We're gonna eat it. And today, a wisdom tooth extracted. Oh man. You, you did, you did your part today. Rest well, man. Get well soon. Sounds like a very uh, tough time. Teeth extractions are always a little bit uh, rough. Okay, this place is so dirty. Wow. He seriously stuck at one person. Convert him finally. Zap. And recruit. Can we do that uh, consecutively? Yeah. Okay. Very kind of you, though, to to be here after such a uh, such a rough day. Appreciate that. So, leader speech. Expected quality 43. Oh, uh, well, okay. Without the leader. <laughs> mm. Did I process all the number already? Pretty much so. Well, pretty sure the next logging site will show up soon. Or whatever we can raid instead. At least we got one extra herring grown. And for some reason Alexios has such little work to do that he's busy with other things. Appreciate that. So let's cancel out these mining jobs. Those mining jobs. The less important things. I want to try and dig out some coals now. Because I feel like I need that. Titanium ore. Now, find coals in a black environment. Have fun. Hide in room, Marcia. I want my neural supercharge! I love that drama TV out here. Lit ore. Or that tin. There must be some coal. Lithium. I have no use for that yet. Really excited to see what we need that for. Oh, come on, guys. There has to be some. To be like that. To me, game. Aquamarine. It's such a uh, painful long way to get that. To get that uh, concrete production running. I mean, it wouldn't be under normal circumstances because usually you you have real stones you can work with, so you don't have to import them from other tiles. <laughs> it's a very special condition I'm suffering here from. Ah, cold war. Solar flare. Oh shoot. Okay. Our prisoner is berserking. Okay. Punch the prisoner. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Akuja, Akuja, Akuja. Stand down, stand down, stand down. We, we still need that, dude. Come on, dude. Alright, let's hope he didn't lose a limb there. No. But Akuja sure sure did try to remove one. Shoulder is the right spot to, to start that mission. Spooky guy. Exactly the person with the monosword that stands in front there. Okay. Tarja, capture, tending. Quick enough. Quick enough. 
40 now. No. Okay. Medical 8 at this point. I love Too Smart. It's one of my favorite uh, things. Okay, Kuja did uh, take that personally, I guess. <laughs> Insulting Spree. Wonderful. Terra and uh, he started a social fight. At least he's not using the friggin' sword. Okay, but Terra is pretty uh, roughed up there. We need to. We need a replacement lung. How did I forget that? He's digging and okay. Tarja is on it again. How did I manage to forget? That? <laughs> well, replacement organs are something I I really quite often forget to to fetch. Another group of travelers, Nation of Bidero. A gentle tribe. Well, that's a bit of a bit of a big group. Let's not. Let's not. We we are suffering from from some madness side uh, side effects. So. I'm, I'm happy if we don't have to live through an infection here. Then I'm already a very happy man. Our bills are crisis of belief. So... Oh, is that dude still from Greece? Ish. Cataracts. Friggin' cataracts. Okay. It's easy. Just need bionic eyes. Shouldn't keep that open, though. Alright, Alexios. Well, well, Alexios has been calmed down. Wow, nice. Fairy Rat has gone mad. I honestly don't know if I got time for that. But Kuja just slammed it. Good to have a Montessori. So let's see how much uh, he... Okay, body caught. 25.8 damage of 12. <laughs> Here we're equipping our guns. Oh, after all that vanilla gaming, it's so good to be in a modded environment again. Alright, Eagle is also repairing the, the air conditioner, so we got some steel back. Nice. And also, I got some coals. The Grey Imperium are at it again. So they come with two squads. Okay. HMG, Charge SMG. Wow, that's lit. That's really big groups. HMG. Bronze Gladius. That's pretty crappy, though. The biggest problem there is I only have a mini turret, and that's that. Do I have an alliance? Oh, yeah. And call the Gaor people. But that's pretty, uh, pretty rough situation to be in right now. Mm -hmm. Me dislike very much. Okay, there's one thing we can do. We can put up some traps here before it begins. It's at least one good thing. Alright, they're beginning their assault. Now, the big question is, 
do I want to call reinforcements on that? It's a real big, big difficult uh, question there. Because, you know, once I have uh, taken that decision, I've taken that decision. You know what? We're going to send uh, Terra over there. And that's that. If necessary, she's going to pull the trigger. And the other people will, will stand there, ready. Because I've got the slight feeling as if we could be easily able to deal with that situation, but it's not that easy to foresee. Let's put Hakuja over here. It's a good call of our trip. Okay. So the first trap did almost nail down the first gunner. That's good. This person is merely waiting for, for a killing blow. Oh, shoot. There's another door. These doors, they troll me so hard. It's amazing me to no end how often I get trolled uh, by these doors, but we, we got the first uh, couple of people down, uh, the first person down. So, Nilos. There's still some Akuja available for him. And I want to uh, swap target immediately because this is a bad fight. I want to fire at that Nestorius dude and also release the story dude. There we go. So the first squad is fleeing. We don't need to focus Nestorius anymore. We're going to focus Duzo. Hakuja, well, but Zoe. Right. There's now a lot of people breaking through here, so. Alright. Next person gone. There's another energy shield uh, dude running, and I don't like the fact that they're. Uh, there's so many dudes spreading into that direction, so, well. But firing into their direction is pretty, uh, pretty bad uh, thing. Hey, Ash, hi there. Can I make some new... Yeah, yeah, new clothing is a good idea. Oh, shoot. It's your internet trolling you again, hey? So, okay, well, we're going to, to focus our fire into Zoe. Alright, there we go. Because, uh, well... Let's see. I want to see if I can kite the, uh... There we go. So, melee attack that Lascaris person. Here we go. Here we see the true power of a melee uh, dude in your, uh, in your colony. Really massive. Alright. That's what I was hoping. That they would flee after that dude is gone. Akuja is pretty uh, banged down. Bishop catch the bullet, I guess. Yes, but nothing too, too horrible there. Okay. So I wonder what direction this Nikos person wants to take. I'm going to make sure that he's not going to make it. Or, no, Tarja didn't have the... Didn't have burden. Well. Okay. Bad. And we have to send one person to rescue Hakuja. And then we're going to take down Las. Can enemies still shoot their guns when a melee character is in this phase? No, no. That's why I do this. Because it's so friggin' strong to... Uh, To bind their uh, ranged attack with this way in this way. 
one of my favorite way, favorite ways of dealing with um, strong melee uh, enemy, as uh, strong ranged enemies. Right. What did he do to Tarja? Just a rough beating. Okay. Now Eagle put him into a bed, and that went good. Oh. Yeah, that's uh, basically the true balancing behind um, behind melee in this game. So these guys are all. Not quite dead yet. Well, okay, left, lost the left arm. We're not going to talk about that. Lost the kidney, dead in five hours, dead in four hours. Okay. Pretty ripped apart, these duties. That's too bad. Because I would really like to capture somebody. So, let's see. Marcia is consuming a simple meal, tending to her kuja. Alexios. Alright, my dude. Alexios, how's your medical? Three. So we have to select that one person which has the least wounds. That's a Kaminata. Let's do this. Because I'm going to uh I'm going to extract some lung because we're missing one, and then we're going to have a nice public execution to make people happy, you know. Raider Empire and such. Oh, the room's finished. Back. I st I did see the ideology update. Ash, I'm I'm pleased. Still, a few things are missing that I want to see. For example, I'm still sad that we either have to play vegans or carnivores or omnivores. So there's no vegetarian way. All the. Uh, non-meat eaters will be outraged when they have to eat eggs and, and milk and such. That's still a little bit, uh, yikes. But I think, uh, this ideology, I don't know if it does apply to existing ones. I didn't notice any change yet. Okay. So, let's see. Do we rescue a Kominata? Looking quite good. Did somebody pick up Tarja? No. Marcia is going for a walk. Outrageous. There's no vegetarian, just vegan, yeah. That's quite sad because uh, I, I feel like the diversity, you know. I actually hoped that this would be implemented with that uh, update, but uh, I guess it will be. Or some point. All right, Kuja, the hero. Alexios, the other hero. Okay. Don't uh, go too crazy. Capture her and good to go. The other people can bleed to death. What? What? What's weird with my animals? So eggs and milk are like meat for them. Exactly, exactly. I guess he's uh, he's talking about insect jello. Well, my wife wanted to play a vegetarian uh, ideology and was very, very uh, disappointed when that didn't work. And I was honestly quite surprised uh, myself. About that. Malnutrition. Okay, not anymore. Okay. I am very, very happy about how this played out. Just need to make sure that Tarja picks up her, her plasma sword. <laughs> Okay, and Hakuja needs his uh, mono sword again, and I need some proper armor for Hakuja. Lots of things on the uh, to-do list. But Hyorin mentioned the lack of proper clothing here. That's absolutely right. Let's put a large order here. 
I did exclude human leather, didn't I? Let's make sure that I exclude, did exclude it everywhere. Because I... I don't want that accidental human leather clothing. Body straps. Slave body straps. That's exclusively what I'm... What I'm creating out of mine. Akominata. Infected head. Ugh. Well, okay. Then we're... We're going to do a little private execution. And not the public one. Because I don't want to wait another three days. And... I don't want to have to accommodate a... A infected person there. Instead, we're going to have some nice uh, small buff instead. Marsha is ravenously hungry. Oh, she's eating some. Good. Guinea pig self-tamed. Beautiful. Mission accomplished. Let the breeding begin. Wonderful. Hmm. <laughs> and the fresh corpse obsession. Okay. Ah. So Kamboa gets to party a bit with the with the with the boys. Let's just uh, let's just bury him again. Okay, Hakuja got his uh, weapon, and she doesn't. Uh, well, we're full of funky meat here. Freezer is brim filled with funky meat. God, I don't know. 833 of those. Neat. Now, what's up trade wise? Oh, restock in a couple of days. Hooray! That's good news. That's truly, truly good news. And there's also weed ready. It's also good news. What's happening with my with my steel stockpiles? I got some chunks and a couple of steel units here. Well. Man, I really hope that we're we're now done with crazy. The Empire dudes, they they really come, they really came with with large numbers. Yeah, I, I totally agree, Ash. Cannibalism in general, every um every faction which processes raiders in any way is uh, super strong nowadays. Because I personally think that. Human leather needs a debuff, at least value-wise, because you know this stuff, 420. Oh, and let's uh, see, guinea pig leather five, camel hide 230. I I really don't uh, agree with that. Wolf skin three. So, to me, it doesn't make really sense that people are going like that. Did I accidentally deconstruct my ideogram? I must have. Okay. Funny things happening in between. Hmm. Yeah. It's smelter. Of course I did. Somebody had to do it, and I don't know anybody who has that power over this game except for me. <laughs> yeah. This happens to me quite often that I accidentally press the X button uh, without noticing. I don't know. Let's build a... let's build a new one. <laughs> Private execution. <laughs> 
the cozy ex execution. So, what kind of sitting furniture do we have here? Needle pillows, okay. I really would have, would like to have an ideologen tab, honestly. I'm not a big fan that these things are all now in the misc tab. The market value of human leather is crazy. Everything made out of human leather is therefore uh, worth crazy much too. That's why I just disagree here. Look at that, 480 bucks. <laughs> That's so stupid. And in comparison, the alpaca wool thing, well, we need something else excellent quality here. Alpaca wool pants, 235. Because alpaca wool is only worth 380. Okay, that, that's okay, so that's still pretty valuable. Okay. And the pants have way more... Uh, okay, how much is in a slave strap, actually? 70. Okay, it's like a duster. Isn't it? No, less. Jacket? Something like that. Yeah, jacket. The private execution with a realistic interpretation of what private healthcare must feel like in America for poor people. Ooh, well, yeah, you. You're right about that. I really feel like that's one of the most terrible things that I know of. And then there's these people that are that the, who are even defending that system as if it would be uh, fair and uh, good that people have to live under these circumstances. I don't know what you have to what you have to uh, to listen to to believe that stuff, but biofuel refining. Let's go. It's also going to be a way to. To do something productive out of all that uh, food. Since we have that overproduction. <clears throat> okay. Speaking about overproduction, isn't the restock time? Yeah. Neato. Let's see what they have in store for us. So I'm gonna send Marcia, Bishop, Arja and Alexios. We're gonna leave the rest here. I need to bring enough people, otherwise that uh, caravan will be will be taken forever. And bring all the alpacas. So why do we have such low travel supplies here? Let's bring the nutri paste meals. I don't know why people are against public health care. Well, I got a, uh, I got a, uh, opinion and, well, that could sound quite unpopular, but in my opinion, people are mostly against uh, public health care because certain lobbies don't want that to happen because it costs them a lot of money and therefore they pay people to let other people believe that public health care is a bad thing. They basically incite unrest amongst the unknowing and the dumb people so that they are afraid of what, what would be actually good for them. That's really tragic, but uh, that's how I see these things. And that's why certain uh, people that are not too smart actually think the public health health care would be bad for them because somebody told them to to uh, so who they trust who just got misled misguided so it's, uh, it's a very tragic thing misinformation is uh, is a brutal crime <laughs> that's my personal stance about that so look at all the mighty alpacas beautiful. 17 of them. 17 of them. Shit. No wonder that they, they are always hungry. <laughs> oh, four people on the caravan and still... The caravan madness is upon us soon. Caravan madness is what happens when the caravan packing takes so long 
that people are exhausted, thirsty, hungry, and uh, angry, and start sleeping on the ground, <laughs> frustrated, and yeah, here, Tarja is already uh, in the state of uh, caravan madness. So let's see if we can send them off. Oh, God. Marcia went on a uh, psychotropic fungus binge, so we're just going to remove her from. I don't care about communism. Communism is good and paper just cast me out. Of course, of course. I think neither capitalism nor communism are are systems that are fit for the modern digital world. These systems were made in a world that was way more analog and way less globalized than ours. That's just uh, too super old thinking. We need something new. We need, uh, and I agree with you, the best of two worlds is always a good way of creating something new. Checking out what worked well with the old system and keeping that while forging something new. We basically need something which keeps the rich people rich and makes the poor people less poor. Which is, sounds quite an impossible, but we are living in an age of miracles. Technological, we are doing things that's uh, no, that's so crazy. But enough of that. Back to game. So, a drug dealer caravan. I want to be on the road and raid these people from time to time, you know. Must be fun. <laughs> They're even selling Glitter World meds. You know what? I'm buying. We are addicted to implantology, and therefore we can use that. How's it going all? Hey Maximus, really really good. Having a good time here on the Rim World, and looking forward to the stream after the stream, because as usual, I'm recently started with that, so once I'm done with the Rim World for today, I'm going to stream something else. Still vibing for more COE. <laughs> I gotta admit, I'm a, I'm a little bit uh, hooked up with that game now. So, Kusha is tantruming with that friggin' monosaur. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. That's by far the most uh, scary tantrum I've ever seen in my r whole Rimworld time. I had no clue that they do this. <laughs> Oh boy. Did they already restock or was I too early? Yeah, they did already restock. I'm just surprised because they only got 900 bucks in their bank. That's really not too much. Now, can we buy here a sniper rifle? But oh, have armor, please. Have frack armor. Whatever. I think we can afford. Have some fancy raider leftovers. Oh, oh we can't afford actually. <gasps> can't. No. I mean, it, it's stupid to buy prestige cataphract armor. I will not do that. The thing is, is it's uh. Oh, we already had to prevent a tantrum on a geothermal. I don't know if it was this run though or another. So we're going to buy that Psychic Insanity Lance for sure. I want that so badly. Oh. This would be really, really good, you know. But obviously we can't. I mean, I could start selling animals, but there's another thing that I'm concerned about. This will add up so much wealth into my colony. And to what end? Only to protect one person with a power armor. One. And this thing is worth almost 4k. Sure, it's good armor, but I would prefer a regular cataphract armor. I know, I'm picking. Bionic tongue. It's also that also came new with the newest update that you can't uh, implant tongues. What does it do actually? Match the performance of a natural tongue in speaking, eating, and tasting. Bionic motion detector. Detector. Okay. Uh, 
I'm going to buy that Immuno Enhancer for Tarja. The Jump Packs Tech Print? Nah. We're, we're really so far away from uh, researching that. And I end up looting that somewhere so often. Don't want to spend all that money for that. But it is a good idea. It's true. But we are really, really too far away from doing that. So, extra components. Do I want extra components? Who doesn't want extra components? Alright, I already sold off most of my stuff. There would be even more to be bought. Nice. An applied researcher gets a What? Did I miss something all along? Okay. Interesting. I had no clue about that effect, thank you. But I'm quite happy with that uh, shopping spree so far, but thanks for pointing that out. I really didn't know that these things had this effect. Fascinating. Radiac. Okay. I think we might want to come back one day uh, sooner or later. Radiacs are, are dope. Um, Twitch Toolkit is not yet re-enabled. I have looked it up today and noticed that it is finally uh, updated, but I didn't want to install that for, for this series, because this series was what was started without, and I don't want to add Twitch Toolkit in the middle of a run, if you understand why, because it, it, it alters the gameplay so much, and I would need to configure it very thoroughly to avoid that uh, working of the gameplay, so that's why I didn't install it yet. But you know me, sooner or later I'm going to whip up a new run, and then we're going to do something with the uh, with Twitch Toolkit again. Just still... Well, I could use some new ideas, friends. So, hook up something. I really would like to do something with a fluid ideology, too. Recently thought about starting out with uh, basically no ideology and working my way up. But I don't know how, how much fun that actually is. So, you're a nudist, and then you're a berserking because you're naked. Dude. Modding and translating the game. Yeah, of course. I, I assumed that this uh, that this uh, makes you notice things that you didn't notice before. Oh, come on, you. Okay, then we're going to slow you down. Oh. Why is he starving? So I can't feed him right now. Oh, because he's already fed. I don't worry at all. I always uh, appreciate to learn something new, that's all. There's, uh... In games like these, there's, um, I don't know. You can play them for so many hours and still discover something new. From somebody else. Like recently that the trick that you can wake up uh, whole mech clusters by just slamming these uh, these free sleeping spots in their midst. I had no clue. But it's so it's so broken. And it's actually part of a vanilla gameplay. Yeah, well I'm quite happy to have you. So, the, uh, the animals are staying at me. Why are they doing this? So when the caravan arrives too late, they don't rope their animals. They just uh, go to bed. Are you guys insane? This will be a, a catastrophe tomorrow.
Oh dear AI, oh dear AI. Well, most things are not that devastating as long as you notice them before they screw you over. <laughs> The catastrophe always begins with the first mistake, which you didn't notice. Dude, what's wrong with you? Such an angry blind man. <laughs> okay. Any new neutral factions for dual trigger next posters? I think that's such a broken direction. But, uh... Well, I want mother. I mean, I hate mechanoids so much that I never have any any feelings of guilt I cheese my victory with them. Not at all. <laughs> Where's the next logging camp? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another, another spiking insanity lands. Love those things. There we go. We should be finally able to do concrete. And it's so weird to buy steel while you're living in a steel environment. Ah, you guys, that peg leg solution. That's so mainstream. <laughs> a waste of uh, good medicine although good uh, good medical training I still need somebody for the lungs though but this dude is a very welcome person to my uh, colony he's pretty expendable and still a pretty good fighter even though the cataracts are a bit of a problem, but... Let's see. If he survives long enough to receive some bionic eyes, he's definitely one of us. If not, then not. Simple enough. Okay, Tarja will receive the uh, immuno-enhancer. Well, in sandbox games, I rarely go for most effective methods. What I am a pretty big fan of is uh, giving uh, people dentures who, uh, who are going for too many insulting sprees to lower that talking ability. Hey, Cordial Villain. Right now, not enabled yet, but I'm working on it. But you can find the model is used. I'm gonna put a link up here. Take a sec. Mm. I got the uh, weird metal floor patterns above the farm. Take a sec. That's uh, the mechanoid intrusion. That's the mechanoid intrusion. Yeah, and that's the Twitch Toolkit thing. Exactly. I want to implement that, that it works always, but I haven't found time yet to do so. But what I can do is... Here, this is the link to the latest uh, episode I uploaded, and in the description there you find the entirety of the used mods. So... That's the best way to work around for now. But I was super happy to see that the uh, 
which toolkit was enabled again. You're welcome, Villain. You're welcome. I stopped looking for it because it was always a disappointment in the last couple of weeks when I looked. Now it's finally back. Pretty sure it's back since it's, it's, I don't know how long. Okay, a lizard skin hood. Oh, come on, guys. What have I done to be uh, insulted like that? Little corridor of doom is back up. I mean, this eats up a lot of steel after all. But... Exactly. If only, uh, if only steam wouldn't be such a pain to uh, handle when you, um, when you want to create a a a mod list. I would also create Steam collections, but oh my god, it's so mind-numbingly annoying to create one of these lists that I never made it to create uh, some alongside with my series, as cool as it would be. <laughs> so, another social fight. Bishop made fun of Akuja's uncle's learning ability. Okay, Bishop. It's not even... that's not even cool. I'm disappointed, man. Now we can use that. That was the whole issue. Yay! Concrete! Hooray! Concrete! Oh man, I'm so happy. So we can finally build those uh, geothermal generators. And... Ah, oh, we can also recruit that dude, finally. It's been about time. So I think the first time that I ever re recruited somebody with cataracts. <laughs> Usually I avoid these people. But... Another option is to use the mod manager mod. Saves the mod list and share the mod list file. Well... But where would I share it? I mean, I don't have any. Uh, is, what's a good platform to short to share files like these? I I don't know about the, those because I know of the mod, but I got no platform for sharing the data. You know. By fuel refining. And, oh, a leader speech. So, 75% uh, quality. Good stuff. And I have so much more space than I got people. Well, that would be an option, yeah. I like the idea. Oh, come on, Terra. Sadistic rage, okay. You do you. You destroyed his entire leg. Okay. So. <laughs> Poor guy. I do. I wouldn't want to be in his, uh, in his skin. Because now, honestly, yeah, exactly, Ash. That, that was the first thing that I was thinking about, actually. So, Rar Bilzer, I remembered that I actually needed a lung. So... It's a shame, my dear, but I, I'm actually quite tired of... <laughs> ...of the recruitment process of a blind man, or a blind... a slowly blind-turning man. Who's now actually also missing a leg? Marcia wants to do that. Yeah, why not? The game wants me to give him peg legs. Nah. <laughs> Terra is uh, still doing this. Okay. Let's operate on that dude. I don't care. There we go. 
Relations have changed harmful surgery on member. Oh. Me so bad. Okay, now let's just hope that this guy won't be dying. Whoa, 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 what are you thinking you're doing? Marcia. Those bruises, they don't need medicine. You already wasted some. I'll, I'll, I've totally seen what you were doing there. So, hypothermia. Is that cold, eh? Let's see. <laughs> Yo, bitch. Seriously, man. <laughs> because your fiancé Kombola died, let me tell you something, Bishop. You were the person who gave the most shots on your fiancé Kombola. So, punch that lung. If you think that's going to change anything, <laughs> what's wrong with my people? I would, I'd like to know that too. <laughs> okay then, then, we really need that lung. That's just, you know. So we need the other lung. We need the other one too, man. So no public execution. Man. That's one weird series of events. I never had something like that. That's messed up. <laughs> Thank you. But it's also quite amusing, not gonna lie. So, at least that's something. Though, who was the missing lung person? Here, Tara. Now. Left long, left long. Okay. <laughs> Things are happening, I tell you. Okay. Now let's do this. I love it how they give my patients always a full meal before anesthetizing, uh, before performing anesthetics. It's like the most wrong thing that you could do. As far as I know, all the doctors uh, try to keep uh, the stuff out of your stomach if possible when they want to do operations on you. RimWorld is uh, thinking a little bit different there. But Tynan has his own reality here, and he's God. If he says so, it is like that. Okay, we're we're now auto-slaughtering auto uh, the, the, uh, the alpacas, I'm noticing that. And the most evil thing is, we're now going to start feeding the alpacas simple meals cooked out of alpaca meat. Isn't that depraved? For now they're getting fed finest raider, which is really especially evil considering that these poor animals are herbivores. But <laughs> they're... They're not... Uh, they, they're not complaining. Does anybody hear those animals complain? No, me neither. So, it seems to be fine. I don't know why this is working, but it does work. You still don't understand why you, I give them such big rooms? Why not? I like how they look. Such rooms, they, they always make me feel depressed. <laughs> I like big rooms. It's a... Uh, the personal thing of... Uh, of preference. Also, it has one big uh, um, advantage. When you have spent all those resources, those rooms have a pretty innate beauty because they are large. People like that. Five on six. That's still a tragic little room. Visually, I mean, that's basically something like that. Here we have, we have six in that dimension. That's it. This is six on six. So this is this could be even made smaller. I should make it smaller. I have so much space. <laughs> 
and I treat my people like individuals. The only thing where it's really bad is when it comes down to flooring, because you need that much more material. That's something, that's some drawback I can't deny. Yo, Tarja, didn't you want, didn't you always want a immune enhancer? Because now is, today is the day you'll receive one. And Terra, back to herbal medicine. So yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not saying that this has any uh, good meaning there, but, uh, I've grew accustomed to that uh, way of doing it, and I noticed its its advantages. Although, when you're short on resources, build smaller. Six and six room, five and six room, it's all you need for one person. That's absolutely true. Yay, I love those immune enhancers. It's not too much, but immunity gain speed is really awesome when your dudes are heavily wounded. And apart from that, it does make her a little bit happy, and especially it kills off the unhappiness. Too used to giving them big enough rooms so that they are happy enough not to complain. The eating without table stuff. Yeah, that's true. I think when you have a couple of hundred hours in this game, you everybody of us at, will develop certain patterns of behavior. That are unique to our to the way how we play this game. I'm pretty sure that this is this applies to to most people. There we go. Finally happening. I'm so happy. Finally, we can do that friggin' concrete mix. I don't know. I I feel like I I tried to do that since uh, War Streams or such. Felt like a never-ending story to me. I mean, there we have a pretty standard, a standard size room. So I really just uh, do the, do draw them however I feel like. You just make me think a lot about my my room <laughs> decisions now. All of a sudden, you know how big it could be. Okay. Well, me neither. Things are quite peaceful lately. This is making me nervous. But the good news, we're actually capable of building a new generator here. And once that thing's finished, we're going to start building new generators everywhere. And also, I want to have a door here. And once that's done, we're going to start building the power sources here everywhere. New lovers. I, de I detected a steel site. Nago Bonund Coalition. Who are these people? Oh, the Rough Outlander Union, which already hates me. Let's go. Well, hate without table ain't that hard. It's only minus three. It's one of the weirdest uh, and most iconic debuffs of the game, though. Okay, let's go raid those guys. Just need to pack up enough disgusting nutri paste food. Yo, why can't I? So that works, but why does why can't I put things into the caravan? Game, tell me. <laughs> oh, I wanted to see whose lovers with whom. Oopsie. Bishop and Tarja, okay. 
So now we need a, a double bed here. Insulting spree. Oh, yeah. Because she wants a neural supercharge. And another punch out against Tarja. My people are fighting really often. Oh, this time with a bite. No, 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 no. Oh, last second. I hate it when they do that. That was godlike. Godlike preservation of my valuable resources. Okay. But I really wonder what made the uh, caravan menu book out like that. But this also means that these guys won't be going on a raiding caravan for the next hours. Let's rest them up before we do anything too crazy. Okay, during nighttime we have a positive power production. Even if those wind turbines wouldn't work right now. I like to see that. Tarja Berserk. Okay. You know, Tarja. You have to let go of your anger. And Marcia, Marcia's uh, bite has infected. <laughs> I tell you, there is no bigger enemy to the evil empire than the evil empire itself. Well, that just happens whenever I um, I do assign higher quality medicines for for operations. And then forget to uh, set it back. That's how it comes to these things. So we're going to we're going to use some real medicine here. Here we go. The infection is uh, making me a little bit nervous here. So let's go for one. Full dosage and one, and then we're going to go without medicine appliance. Spaceship crap uh, chunks. Okay. It's so crazy how much my people uh, destroy them themselves. They they are quite a good picture of humanity itself. <laughs> okay, my friends, I will tune down Rimworld at this point, and I'm going to fire up some new COE stream afterwards. I'm going to be down for like to 10 minutes, pick up some little refreshments, and be right back in a couple of minutes. So, would be happy to catch you all in a, uh, over there, and if not, have a good time, and see you guys next time. Bye-bye! Or, see you in a, in a sec.